we celebrate today the memory of Saint Stanislaus, Bishop and Martyr of the Church. And as I said in the introduction, he was Bishop of Krakow, the hometown of Pope John Paul II. And Saint Stanislaus is also considered as the patron of the whole of Poland. My dear friends in Christ, my dear brothers and sisters, the gospel reading for today is taken from the high priestly prayer of Jesus for the followers, for his disciples. High priestly prayer of Jesus for the disciples. There are elements of the high priestly prayer that we have to know. Jesus was a man of God. He was a man of prayer. And he did not only pray when he was in the mood to pray. Whether you are in the mood or not in the mood to pray, you pray. Because you are supposed, we are supposed to be men and women of prayer. Jesus always prayed even when he was too busy in his public ministry. But it cannot be denied that Jesus lived a truly prayerful life. He must have learned his prayer life from his parents. He must have grown in an environment of prayer. The Blessed Mother was also a woman of prayer. Saint Joseph, a carpenter, was a man of prayer. The parents of Jesus must have been his first teachers as far as as prayer is concerned. The Gospel of Mark tells us that Jesus is spent the night in prayer. After a long evening spent in healing the sick, our Lord rose very early in the morning. He left the city. He went to a deserted place and there He prayed. And our Lord spent long hours in prayer. The Gospel of Luke, on the other hand, narrates that Jesus went out to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray as was his tradition, as was his habit. And there at the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus instructed the apostles, Stay here and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus had even sweat blood in his prayer at Gethsemane and so great was the anguish of the Lord and being in agony even when he was in moments of agony and torture Jesus prayed the longer how difficult it is to pray when we are in pain how difficult it is to pray when we are in agony but Jesus prayed all the more. And I'm sure some of you will remember the instruction of St. Paul. St. Paul, in one of his letters, stressed also the importance of prayer in a disciple's life. That is why a man of God or a woman of God must be a man of prayer. Seminarians should learn how to pray. Seminarians must love prayer. You must not get tired of prayer. And priests and religious must also be men and women of prayer. They must set aside a regular time. Everybody, a regular time for prayer. Whether it is in the morning, at noontime, or at evening, there must be a regular time is spent with God in prayer. St. Paul stress the importance of prayer in a disciple's life. St. Paul exhorted the disciples and the followers, pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing, pray perseveringly, do not give up prayer. That is the last thing that we should give up, our prayer life. My dear brothers and sisters, to pray is to acknowledge that we are in need of help. To pray is to acknowledge 
that help is available and that help is coming from God. I remember a certain author who said, Prayer is the weakness of God. Prayer is the weakness of God and the strength of man. When we pray, we are like beggars before God. We are like beggars before God. And in reality, it is better to have a heart in prayer even without words rather than having plenty of words. But the heart is somewhere else. In the final analysis, my dear brothers and sisters, God is only a prayer away from us. Remember what the Lord said? A mandate that He gave, a commandment that He gave about prayer? Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. You do not receive because you do not ask. You do not find because you do not seek. And the door is not opened because we do not knock. My dear friends, God never sleeps. Work as if everything depends on you. And pray as if everything depends on you. On God. Amen.